So I've been studying and researching the effects on earthing and grounding for quite some time. I've been grounding for a few years now, but I've never really dove into my own studies with it. So I got a voltmeter. Um, and this EMF reader that reads EF, EMF, and RF signals. And I'm going to just demonstrate a few things. So there's the voltmeter. This side right here is hooked up to a copper speaker wire cable that is running outside of this window right here, which is going straight into the ground right there. So that is only being grounded by the actual soil of the earth. Right there is a half inch, two foot copper rod where I have another copper speaker wire cable running up to and through the window right here. And that one goes down and connects to this copper plate that I bought. Copper because it's highly, highly conductive. So I got a 12 inch by 24 inch copper plate that I can rest my feet on when I am working on a computer and coding. So that is grounded outside through that copper rod. Nothing fancy, no electricity, nothing like that. So I'm gonna turn on the voltmeter and turn it on to volts for 60 hertz for North America. I'm going to select or do the range of volts right there to show. Now, currently this will show the voltage of my body, which right now is 0 0.07 and I have nothing plugged in. Uh, my computer is turned on, but I have no lights on and nothing is plugged in around me. So 0 0.07. If I touch the copper plate, I'll bring this a little closer. It grounds to zero. Let off, my voltage goes back up, touch it, grounds to zero. I need it put this on a little better, but it's working. Now, what happens when I plug this power strip in right here? So let's do that. This is plugged to the power strip. It's going all the way over here. And actually you can already hear the EF signals are at 67 when they were at somewhere around two prior to that, the power strip is turned on. So if I'm just sitting here and I'm not grounded and I touch the voltmeter, now I'm at two volts just by having the power strip turned on. If I touch my copper plate, I am grounded down to zero, even with the power strip turned on. Not grounded, too. What happens if I touch it? And it goes up to about four, four and a half, somewhere around there. If I touch Apple's thing, it goes up to seven. Now, I'm touching, this will be kind of hard to show. I'm touching the Apple power charger, which shows me at almost nine volts now. And I now step on the copper plate and touch it. I am still grounded. Lift my foot off the plate, touch it, eight and a half volts. 
I turn the power strip off, we will see that this calmed down and my voltage went back to 0.8. Now, if I bring the EF reader down here, the power strip is turned off and I set that right next to the wire. There is still electricity running through this at a very high rate of 200 or so. Regardless if it's turned on or turned off, it's the exact same. If I unplug it, all the electricity that's flowing through that wire is cut off regardless if it was turned on or turned off. So there's that. Um, that's the biggest thing. If I plug in Apple's iPhone charger and I just sit the cord next to me and I touch the volt meter I am at 0.5. If I touch this, I am at a whopping 48 volts in my body. If I drop it, it goes down. Obviously, most people aren't touching their wires and holding them for too often. But if I pick it back up again, it goes back up. If I put my foot on the copper plate, I'm not grounded to zero, but I'm down to 0 0.03, which is a drastic change from, what was it, 47. So, copper plate out to the copper rod into the earth is working and grounding me very well. As a person who sits at a computer a lot and works with a lot of these uh, electric fields around me. I am very thankful that I found these methods and these remedies to help keep me grounded um, and safer while I have to work on these devices because uh, it's a part of my job and the way I make a living so I can't really cut that out. It's not ideal to be outside and grounding all the time while I do this. So this is a great alternative to be able to reap the benefits of the negative ions or electrons flowing up through the kidney acupuncture point one, Yang Quan, right there, called bubbling spring, which allows those electrons to flow up into your body um, to balance out the system of free radicals and everything else. I'm probably forgetting a few things, but I think that's a pretty good way of showing most of what's going on. Uh, if, yeah, let's do this. Let's plug this back in one more time. I'm going to plug the power strip back in. And we're going to turn that on. And my computer is connected to the charger. So now, what happens if I'm holding the voltmeter? Um, so I'm at two volts. Oh, this is gonna be hard to show up again. Let's see, I'm gonna hold this with this hand. And I'm just gonna rest my hand on the mouse. And it goes up to nine volts take my hand off of the mouse, three volts. Put my hand on the mouse, nine volts. Now if I put my foot on the copper plate with my hand on the mouse, zero. So even when I have my hand on a mouse that is wired, this is not a wireless mouse, it is still sending electrical signals to and through my body, but the copper plate helps negate that and grounds me. One other aspect is I do keep Elite Shungite right here, which helps to neutralize 
electrofrequencies and electromagnetic frequencies as well as RF frequency or well RF or radio frequencies. Uh, we can dive into that later. Uh, there's quite a bit of literature out on it, actual research mainly done by the Russians. Um, yeah, so that is how I wired up and got my grounding mat working. Now, I guess this should be beneficial to say too. There are plenty of grounding mats out there for sale. <clears throat> Most of what I found is they are lined with like a thin layer of a silver thread or nickel or something about an inch to an inch apart. So you're only getting the conductivity where those threads are running. Um, and I figured I could make this myself for around the same price or cheaper. And the entire plate is conductive. So I'm getting more of that grounding aspect and more of the electrons uh, flowing into my body that way. Um, I'm going to be experimenting with a sleeping version of it as well soon. I've got some silver fabric on order, so we'll see what happens when that comes in the mail. Um, but yeah. But if you can, get outside. Get your bare feet on the earth, on the dirt, on the grass. That would be much better for you. Uh, so once again, my bolts sit in here. Two bolts. Put my foot on it. I am grounded. Case closed. <laughs>